Hello everyone and welcome back to another video and today we're going to take a look at some of the things that Elma from Elma Labs has sent me. So yeah, this is Elma Labs, like this is his logo and um, I was contacted by Elma a while ago and he told me that he's enjoying some of my content and was asking if there would be anything from his shop that I would be interested in. So what he ended up setting is the new version of the EVC2, a Ample X1 power card and a Elmo Labs PMD. So uh, let's take a look at that. Uh, let's get the biggest thing out first, which is the PMD. I have already used this, so it is out of the box. Um, and this is the PMD. So uh, PMD stands for Power Measurement Device and this is exactly what it does. Uh, you can measure your CPU and GPU power consumption using this thing and yeah, it might sound cool, might not sound super useful, but actually this is pretty useful because this can like visualize on a graph um, your power consumption and you can tell like which part of a test is uh, very hard. You can also kind of gauge how much heat output you have, if you see like you pump the voltage a bit but power goes up a lot, then you can probably estimate uh, is this actually going to do something or is this just going to overwhelm my cooling. Like knowing how much power you're pulling is quite useful. Um, and this thing can tell you that. Um, this works in the exact same way that an Nvidia graphics card measures its power. You can see these uh, shunt resistors down here and you have like you plug your power supply uh, cables into this. You do get a set of other cables sent with this. So these, these are the two graphics card cables that I had connected to it. Um, so you put that to the output. That then goes to your graphics card. And this thing can then uh, measure the power. So you have uh, four channels on this. You have PCIe 1 channel. Then you have the PCIe 2 channel, which is both of these connectors. And then you have EPS1 and EPS2. Um, so yeah, uh, you do also get this little, uh, I think, OLED it is display with it that can, like, you, you press this button and it cycles through um, uh, the different channels. It can also show your total consumption. And then you also get this USB-C uh, connector. You do get a USB cable with it. Um, and then you can connect this to your PC and use the uh, PMD uh, USB software to then get your, like, your graph uh, in software. There's an older version of this that doesn't, like this is the PMD USB. There's an older version that doesn't have a Type-C connector. I think it has a normal like UART connector. That might need to be hooked up to an EVC first. You might not be able to hook that up directly to a PC, but this thing you can just hook up directly to your PC and it will be detected by the uh, PMD USB software. Um, I am planning to do a demo video on this to like show how this is working. Um, but for now, like, that's what it is. This is actually a, like, really, really cool tool that I probably would have just bought for myself from Elmo Labs anyway if he uh, didn't offer to send it. Then the second thing would be the EVC2 SE. So this is, um, I wonder, how many versions were there? There was the original EVC, then the EVC2, the EVC2 S, EVC2 SX, and this is the EVC2 SE. Um, this one I also already unboxed and uh, checked if it works and basically the main difference to the EVC2SX is that you have a different connector standard for you, for these three connections here before they would use connectors similar to these here and um, these are just like more sturdy and you do also get um, some cables with them like with this EVC that just plug in directly to those connectors and you don't have to like fiddle with plugging in three of these anymore. So that's quite nice, um, new connector standard. And, and also the most sturdy part is, so uh, a friend of mine is uh, Deeper. He is also working at Elmer Labs as I think a support person. I don't exactly know what he does. He also films some videos for the Elmer Labs YouTube channel. Um, and he got his sample of the EVC2SX and I don't know if he did it by accident or it happened in shipping, but like one of these connectors broke off on his unit. And that's apparently also part of the reason why this has now the 
new connectors because these should uh, not break off as easily. Then the other uh, difference is that this should now also have a different uh, IC in the middle, or at least it has some improvements that allows the analog voltage control. So like this connector down here, you can um, uh, like hook up analog voltage controllers to the EVC. I did already make a video that goes into how to do that. And the SE now has um, much, much, much more precise current steps for this. So the EVC2SX was, I think, 10 microamps. I think this is 1 or even 0 0.1 microamps per step. So this is incredibly precise now, uh, which is really nice because um, on the SX with 10 microamps, uh, you were able to run into some situations where like one step was already translated into a hundred millivolts, which might be a bit a bit too much. Sometimes you want like 50 or 25, or like if you really want to fine tune it, you want like one milli millivolt of difference. With this one, you should be able to like do that on pretty much anything. So yeah, that's the uh, new and improved version of the EVC. Um, and if you buy an EVC, you will now get uh, this one here, since uh, like whenever a new one comes out, the old becomes discontinued. They will keep working, like they will keep getting software updates. Um, but when you buy an EVC, you will like, as far as I know, always get the newest version of it. And then the last thing to look at is the Ample X1. So the Ample is something that's existed for quite a while. Uh, I also already like put this together slightly. Um, and what the Ample is, is basically a little one-phase e-power board. Um, so, yeah, it is kind of similar to the LM2596 um, DC to DC bug converters that I sometimes use to just like kind of power minor rails. Though this one can handle more current. This thing is, as far as I know, rated for up to 20 amps, whereas those LM2596 things are like 3 amps. Um, so this can handle quite a lot more power. It does also come with this six pin power connector that you can just solder on. And it also comes with this cable that as far as I know, you just plug in and then can uh, probably just go to the EVC and then you have a uh, voltage control. Um, there was an older version of the Ample as far as I'm aware that just had a potentiometer way to adjust voltage. Um, there's no poten potentiometer anymore. So, you know, like this, yeah, like the voltage control is just going to be like digital now, um, which is probably like more precise and easier to use. Um, it's a bit more complex than just a potentiometer, but I kind of do prefer this. Um, yeah. Um, as far as using this is, like you're not going to be e-powering like a core array with this. It's it's a one-phase e-power board, but it is still a quite capable one-phase e-power board. Um, so there's two things that I've kind of been considering this for. Um, one thing is the VDDCI rail of my dead RX570, um, because I might be trying to e-power it again. Like, I once had it e-powered and concluded that the driver always crashes when you try to e-power a, a Polaris card. But it was quite a while ago and my soldering was pretty bad, so there's a chance that my connections were just really bad and the card crashed because of that. So I do want to try again. And my RX-70 has a V-Core controller that control, control, controls both core and VDDCI. And what I need to e-power the core on it because that VRM blew up. Well, I also need something to e-power the VDDCI rail. And this is basically perfect for that because on the stock card it was also just a one-phase VRM. Um, so this should be just fine for e-powering uh, like a Polaris VDDCI. Um, this will also, of course, work for a PEX rail, like I've e-powered PEX rails with the 3-amp things before, so this will do that just fine. Um, because the GTX 980 that I repaired a while ago, uh, I did ultimately decide to actually e-power it, and something I did broke the PEX rail, and I, it needs to be e-powered. And if the RX-70 doesn't work out, this might be what I use for that. Um, and, yeah. So, that's nice. Um, there is also a project that I'm aware of that's actually not currently like being worked on, but the project's not dead, and that's the Ample X12, 
which is, as the name might suggest, a 12-phase e-power board uh, made by Elmo. Um, and, well, yeah, it's it's an e-power board that he's working on, which will be a 12-phase and therefore obviously good enough to e-power core VRMs too. Um, he is not actively working on it because other things are more urgent, um, but the project is not dead. Uh, we might one day see a 12-phase e-power board from Elmore, which would be really, really nice, especially considering that the EVGA e-power 5 is now permanently, completely dead. Apparently they were still making these as of late, like... They, apparently these were still being made from time to time, but now with EVGA exiting the GPU market, it's pretty safe to say that the EG, EVGA ePower 5 is dead for good. Um, which means that there's actually no ePower boards being made anymore, because the Hall of Fame board was only like one or maybe two production runs a while ago, which is why they're quite rare. The EVGA ePower 5 was pretty much the only one that was publicly available that was made in any significant number, and now those are gone. So, right now there's still enough supply for like ePower boards around, um, but at some point it would be nice to have, you know, e-power boards in production again, and it looks like Elmer is going to save us there. Um, so once the Ample X12 comes out, um, I'll be either buying one or maybe he's also going to send one over. I have no idea when it will come out. I'm willing to wait years for it, as long as it does exist at the end. So, um, yeah, but in the meantime, you can have an Ample X1. Um, which, you know, is just a small e-power board. These are also actually, I've seen people use these on motherboards quite a lot, because motherboards have like a lot of minor rails, and if you have a lot of minor rails, there's a like, you know, on GPUs you have like maybe three minor rails, motherboards can easily double that, which means it, there's twice as many things that can fail, uh, especially on older motherboards. And um, I've seen people use these to repair those minor rails, and sometimes they also just e-power the minor rail to get better voltage control on it, or because just the stock VRM is uh, a bit too bad. Like um, back in like DDR2, maybe some DDR3 era, as far as I know, RAM voltage uh, regulation was actually a lot more important, whereas like on DDR4 it basically doesn't matter, and DDR5 has its own voltage regulator integrated now. Um, but yeah, these of course also work on motherboards. Um, I don't really do a lot of CPU stuff, so, you know, I haven't had to do it yet. But, you know, e-powers of course work on motherboards too, it's not a GPU only thing. Uh, which this is also quite useful for, because on motherboards you have a lot of rails that don't necessarily pull more than 20 amps that you can use this for. Um, and with that... I think that's pretty much it. So this is um, the things that Elmer sent over. Uh, huge thanks to him for sending these over. Like, yeah, it, it's just kind of cool to know that the that a person that I really appreciate doing things for the Overclock community does also enjoy watching videos on this channel. Um, of course, I'm also quite thankful for all the uh, free stuff that I was sent. This was, I think, over a hundred dollars of just things that I now have. Um, so I am quite thankful for that. Um, he didn't ask me to like do a shout out or anything, but I, I'm still gonna do it anyway because I think he does some pretty cool things. Uh, he's a very ma valuable member of the overclocking community. Like, without the EVC, I don't know how volt modding would look like. Probably a lot more messy and a lot harder to pull off. Um, so. Uh, for the EVC alone, he deserves a lot of praise, and then there's everything else that he also makes. Um, so yeah, so if if you're in need for some overclocking supplies, or just curious what else he has available, like this is by far not everything that he has. Um, yeah, go go take a look at his uh, at his shop at Elmo Labs, um, and and see if you maybe if there maybe is something that you would like. Um, so yeah. So thanks again for Elmer for se uh, to Elmer for sending all of this over, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna be making the demo video for the PMD now because you know it's a it's a new nice thing that I want to show off, and that would be it for this video. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and until next time, goodbye.